My name is Ryan O'Hara. I'm the quarterback coach at Mount San Antonio College. Here's a look at our drill work. This is the live pocket movement where we'll have two quarterbacks simulate a rush. He's going to evade, reset his feet, put his back foot in the ground and get the ball out. He's either moving up in the pocket or laterally sidestepping. Here's a good look at a wide rush where he's going to step up in the pocket, keep a base and make a good throw down the field. It's important to keep your feet apart, keep your posture up, and your knees flexed. Here's our eye manipulation with two ball drill. We're working on three with the hitch, getting the ball off that first hitch, moving the safety with our eyes, and skimming that ball over top of the backer and under the safety. Four verts versus cover three here. He's looking off the safety, and he's skimming that ball over the backer. Here's our quick setup and throw drill where we're transitioning from being outside of the pocket Transitioning from a full sprint to setting our feet to get the ball out. Okay, here working to our left, he's going to have to flip his hips, get his front side in line to get the ball out. Here's a back pedal quick setup and throw. You'll see the quarterback sprint out of the pocket, quickly set his feet, get his back foot in the ground and drive the ball. Here's a back pedal quick setup and throw where we're going to also flip the hips. This is good for things like play action and uh, getting your hips around and your front side aligned, setting to a good base again, getting all your cleats in the ground and lowering your center of gravity, and then pushing energy up through the ground to create ground force. Here you'll see him snap that front shoulder, just like he did in the drill, get aligned and get the ball out in a tight window. Um, here's our base walk drill. Okay, we're going to slow it down so that, that that way they can feel their base from shoulder width to slightly outside of shoulder width. And we'll speed it up a little bit. We want them to get on, not flat-footed on the balls of their feet. And we want them to move quick, but again, we want to keep their center of gravity low so that they're nice and strong in the pocket and that they can generate energy up through the ground. Okay, we always want them to set for depth, make the rush chase you back, and push up in the pocket. Here you'll see a good good shot of him working his base. He's going to set for three with the hitch, and he's just working his base. The base also works if you're waiting for a receiver to develop. It keeps you in balance. Here's now where they're working their base, what we call this hip turn, where they're snapping their eyes in their front side to each progression of their read. Okay, you'll see them look left, look right, and then come back down the midline and make a throw. They want to tie their eyes together with their front foot. That way they're always pushing their front side to where they want to throw. He's going to take three with the hitch. He's looking to his left. It's not there. He's going to snap his eyes to the back side, close his front shoulder, and make the throw. Always keeping your front side tied together, your posture up, and your knees flexed. And here you'll see he's going through quite a bit of reads. One, two, three, and then he's coming back to four late. Okay, and he ends up throwing a touchdown. But it was all because he worked his base, and he... He pushed his front side to the target. Here's working our base, but we're moving forward, back, side to side, subtle movements. Always staying alive in the pocket. Rarely ever you're just going to be able to stay straight behind the midline. You're always going to be moving forward, side, backwards. And uh, as you're moving, when you're pushing forward, you want to push through the back foot. When you're working backwards, you want to push through the front foot. This is a reactionary drill, so I'll give a fire call. This is our lateral pocket movement drill where he's going to either step up, I'll give him an up call around the cones, or I'll say side, and he's going to sidestep on his right foot, his back foot. If he's a left, it's his left foot. Okay, you want to move quick with urgency, short, quick movements. We always want to graze the grass, keep your feet close to the ground, stick your back foot in when you're ready to throw and get the ball out. Here he had a little bit of pressure, so he stepped up, and then he had to slightly sidestep, stick his back foot in the ground and get the ball out. This is long drop, fast eyes. We're going to do a continuous drop. We want to get a big reach step and a small cross. And I'm holding up those numbers as fast as I can to get them uh, using their eyes quickly. And they're calling out the numbers. Now we'll come right back with the throwing on the run. I call this push snap fire. They're going to snap their front shoulder for three steps. They're going to throw off the same foot. Um, they're going to throw off the same foot. If they're a righty, it would be their right foot. If they're a lefty, their left foot. This is our gather steps. This is the top of our three on time drop. Okay, and you'll see a shotgun three on time. He's throwing the 10 yard out into the boundary. He hits his third step, he gets the ball out. 
if he's any later, he, he, he doesn't get that ball off because we had a free rusher hit him. So it's important on timing patterns to hit your back foot and you're going one big and two little, close your front shoulder and get the ball off. Okay, this is our base to hitch. He's going to set with the wide base, cleats in the ground, short hitch, and get the ball out. And you see a three with the hitch. He sees safeties rotate. He's going to work to his backside two on two. He's throwing the curl, and he's setting with the wide base and having a short hitch, and he gets the ball out for a big first down. Thank you for your time.